Welcome back, folks. Thanks for being here today. To my subscribers, thank you for being here. And if you've not yet subscribed, please feel free to do too. I really appreciate it. Today, we're going to repair some strip threads on cylinder heads. Uh, I've already lapped the valves like you've seen in the prior video. So the valves are done and lapped. The exhaust studs have a little bit of damage to them, so we're going to chase the threads. I'm going to use this here and go ahead and clean the threads up. And that should be it. These heads should be ready to install with the new pistons. So let's get on it. Okay, so you remember in the last video, we did the valve lapping. The valves are all done. Heads nice and cleaned up. Everything is looking good. So when I was getting to that point, I checked my studs here for the intake. Not spun right on. As you can see. Nice and clean. Wire wheeled them all up. Get everything cleaned up. And I just dropped the nut. But when I got to these, a couple of them, this one really isn't bad. But there's a couple. I'm trying to get it to focus. They're buggered up. Focus, come on, we have to do that. See that? You can see, oops, sorry, half-assed today. They're smashed. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a die. I picked this up on Amazon. I'm gonna have to buy a whole set. I should have them on hand. That's eight millimeter by 1.25. And let's open it and give it a try. Let's get it opened up here. I grabbed it from Amazon because I didn't feel like running to the store that day. It wasn't very expensive, but it's a good quality die. And as you see here, this side up, you could see if you look, I don't know how well I can get that in there. There's a little blank chamfered end there. You don't start it from this side. That's the ending point. It's flat on this side. Here, you can see it's opened up. See the flat void at the top of it? That's where you start it. So, let's get you set up here with me. Okay. Now, what I'm going to use, some people use oil, some people use liquid ranch, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to hit it with just a little PB. Just give it a little drink. And then we're going to start this on. Remember, not that end, but that end. You could see the difference. And it says this side up, which means that's the side you start with. Okay. Start it on. You get on this side so you can see. Stopped already. Turn it slow. Don't act like a nut. Now, if you were cutting new threads, I'm only chasing threads, you would go a quarter turn and then you would back up a half turn. Then go back do a quarter turn, then back up a half turn, but we're not doing that in this case. We're just chasing threads to clean them up because they were smashed. I may back up on it a little bit though. Take it slow, never rush. But make sure you don't try to do it dry. Get on there. You can use a ratchet, but I like to do a a wrench so I'm running slow. Let's see if I can get you at a better angle here. How's that? Is that better? Okay, I'm gonna back it up a hair. There we go. I felt it free up. I don't have a wrench wrench to fit this or I would do it, but it's pretty big. I even put a 22 millimeter wrench on or 21, whatever I had in it. 
no good. So we're gonna keep chasing it, just take your time, move slow. It isn't a race to get done. Looks like somebody had dropped it or something, or hit something against it, maybe a hammer by accident and flattened the threads. So, it happens. Okay, I'm gonna give it another little drink. I heard it cutting a little bit. It's probably not easy to hear on film, but I heard it cutting a little bit. So give it a little drink. It's getting a little harder now to turn. It's getting there. The key is move slow. Don't race doing this. Okay, I'm gonna back it up right here. Okay, go forward. Oops, I'm sure the camera's bouncing around, sorry. But I wanna jump close, so. Make sure if it feels dry, you hear a little cracking, back up a hair to relieve it, the metal shavings, and then give it a little drink again with some liquid wrench oil. I'm using PB glass though, so. Whatever's gonna lubricate it, you know what I mean? We're almost getting there. I'll tell you something about this when I'm done. Almost there. Hopefully this cleans the threads up, we'll find out. Oops, get on there. Okay, so let's take it back off. Oops, stuck on a exhaust port there. Let me see if I turn it by hand, I don't know. Nope, that's odd, should have been able to. Yep, they look nice and clean. Okay, take a rag. Wipe this off. Look a lot better. I might run it on one more time. Let me try my nut. Look at that. Ooh. That's what you want. I couldn't even get the nut on there before at all. So now it's nice and cleaned up. Let me show you something here. Okay. See how I cleaned them all up? They're dirty right now. I'll run a wire brush around them. But see, it's almost intensifying it too much, the camera. But they're all cleaned up. The nut spins on very, very nice. Get my hand behind it. They're all cleaned up, no more smashed threads. Now, here's a little bit of advice. Any of your studs, if you have a die on hand for the size you need, it can't hurt on these older motors and these older studs that have been on here forever. Hit them with a little oil and go ahead and run a die on them. It ain't gonna hurt anything. It'll clean the threads up and your nuts will move much smoother when you're putting them on the threads. So it can't hurt to clean them up a little bit when need be. This one here, that one don't look bad. I'm gonna run one on it anyhow, just to clean it up. But I thought I had another one that was bad and it's right there. It needs cleaned up. That one's not so bad. Let's do this one next. Okay, as you can see, this thread here is cucked up with stuff. I made that word up, cucked. Okay, because when you try to put it on, it'll go, but it's, yeah, I don't like that. It's sticking. Whoa, okay. So we're gonna do the same thing with this one. It's easy to do. You guys can do this yourself, no problem. Okay, give it a little drink again. 
At least that's what I call it. I hope I just didn't spray the lens. Okay. Remember with this, look for this side up, chamfered end. Put it on. Now watch when you're starting it. Don't start it in a bad way. You're going to be running all new threads, and you don't want to do that. That one doesn't even want to start right. Okay. Make sure it's straight, and it is. I got to ratchet now. Okay. Yeah, I can see some garbage inside of there. Make sure you clean this up every time before you reuse. Let me wipe the threads off a minute here. Probably bless, best to blow them off with an air gun, but I don't feel like messing around right now. Okay, see that? Nice and smooth. That's the way you want them. That nut wouldn't even spin on before. That's it. Make sure you clean this up each time you're done. Spray it out with some brake clean, blow it out, and then start on your next one. I have a couple more to do, but I'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch me do all of them. So real quick, I wanted to show you something while I'm doing this. Make sure this is all perfectly smooth so your valve cover seat, or they're gonna leak. There's a reason I brought this up. See that little bump? There's a little little lip bar like it got hit with maybe a hammer or something but it's actually a little ridge i don't know if you can see it but it's right there there's a little bump so i'm gonna take a foul and clean that up make sure these are perfectly smooth if they're not you're gonna have a leak and you'll be thinking it's your gasket your valve cover but there you go right there i'm gonna clean it up with a foul check real well before you're done. All right, so we cleaned them threads up on those studs. I'm gonna do the rest of them. I just didn't wanna be repetitive. I showed you two, it's all the same. If you have studs on your motor, before you start putting a lot of stuff together, check the studs, run some nuts on them, see if they're going on smooth. You don't want your motor in the car and then you're reaching underneath going, oh crap, no, the studs are screwed up. Clean them all up. Buy yourself a cheap tap and die set from Amazon or Harbor Freight and Clean up all the threads because there's a lot of cuck and grime and rust on them from over the years. Make them like brand new again. It's cheap to do. You see what I just did. It's easy. So do that. Hey, thanks for being here. Please share the channel. Let's get this channel out there so a lot of other people can benefit from the videos. And I'll talk to you soon.